Hey guys, I'm Combat Craig, and in this video, I'll answer the question, why was my VA claim deferred? It can be frustrating to learn that the VA has deferred some or all of your VA claim. The good news is that having your VA claim deferred is neither good nor bad, it's neutral. And in some cases, it leads to a favorable outcome. Here's what the VA Raiders guidelines say when it comes to disabilities that are not fully developed. The VA Raider, the RVSR, should defer a claim rather than deny the claim that is underdeveloped or incomplete when proper disposition of that issue depends on the resolution of a development action. VA claims usually get deferred for one of three reasons. The first one is your claim needs additional development. This is covered under 38 CFR 3.159. It's a development error. Number two, the RVSR needs more rationale or clarification from the CNP examiner. And the third one is the CNP examiner submitted an incomplete disability benefits questionnaire or DBQ. Check out this video I did here about how to fill out a disability benefits questionnaire the right way. And if you want to go deeper in the weeds with DBQs and the VA claims process, check out my bootcamp at combatcraig.com. In these instances, the RVSR will generally make what's called a partial rating decision. And that is defined like this. A partial rating decision is one that provides a decision on some issues of a claim, such as service connecting a disability or granting a simple increase, but he defers a decision on at least one other issue pending the outcome of additional claim development. A partial rating decision will award part of the claim and it'll defer one or more issues pending additional evidence or clarification. That's all deferred is. Here's a pro tip for you. VA raters may not arbitrarily refuse to assign weight to a claimant's evidence or develop with the purpose of obtaining evidence to justify a denial of a claim. Instead, VA raters must be able to support the determination that further development is needed. This means they can't just hurry up and deny. They do it, but they can't. And legally, they can't. They're supposed to develop it. If there's some kind of question mark, they're going to send you to a CNP exam for clarification. I know uh, one company, LHI, they're one of the contractors, they're blowing it. So people are getting sent back to CNP exams for the exact same thing two or three times. Combat Craig, what the hell is going on? Somebody's screwing the pooch. I don't know who it is, the VA Raider, LHI, but they're sending you back over and over again because they legally can and they're trying to get some kind of determination. I have no idea what VA Raiders have going on in their little pinhead minds or CNP examiners other than the common thread that they're the enemy and they want to deny veterans their benefits. I know that part. That's the bottom line with a deferred decision. Here's a couple of cases that cover deferred VA claims and they explain it. Links are in the description. Check them out. Check out my boot camp. And I also want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Hill and Potten. If you need a VA disability attorney, check them out at hillandpotten.com. I'll see you in the next video.